Hey, you too. Naturally, Nelsie here again, and I figured that now, since I showed you guys my hair journey and I made a mini regimen, I will probably share my hair history with you guys. So, I guess I could start from the time when I was like a little baby. Um, of course, I was natural back then, and my mom was the main one that took care of my hair, and you know, she would give me little puffs and little braids and other little things, and like maybe six to like. 11 10 11 she would like let me get extensions of box braids or like you know the horn rows back with the extensions or whatever and that's mainly how I would wear my hair and of course I was super excited when I was able to get those so that was fun and I think to the point where I became like I think I got my first relaxer when I was I would say 13 if it wasn't 13 it was 12 but I totally remember it because I was going into junior high and I was like super excited because I never had my hair straight in any time that I would have like the what is that the hot comb you know with the whole stove thing I hated that process I would be scared like, scared out of my mind every time my mom would have to hot comb my hair but every time when I would have it as soon as I would go outside it would be like this big so it was like all the hours that it took of torturing to get my hair straightened as soon as I got outside, yeah, it looked like a tumbleweed. So the whole flat iron process, that did not go well, but it was interesting to have had that done to see what my hair would look like if it were straight. But after, you know, my mom getting annoyed with always doing my hair and when she tried to straighten it, it was like a waste of time because it would just poof back up. I finally said, well, mom, you know, like 13, I'm a teenager, so... Can I get a relaxer or perm is what I called it because all my friends had it and I was like the only one that did not have straight hair and I remember one time I went to a friend's house and her mother was actually washing her hair and like don't ask me why but just seeing her hair straight as the water like you know hit it or whatever and when she turned the water off and it was just straight down her you know her back I was like oh, I want that so I went home and I was like mom you relax sir I want one and for a while my mom like she I don't know if she was too much against it but I think it was mainly how old I was and she didn't really care to put a relax in my hair when I was young so she waited until I guess she felt like okay she's a teenager she's going into junior high so she should be able to make a decision about her hair so I got my first relaxer when I was 12 and boy was I excited <laughs> I was so excited I didn't know what to do with myself all I would do is like comb my hair and play in ponytails and just wear it straight and actually wear it out and not have to worry about you know not going outside and stuff and like it was awesome and the first time I washed my hair like I was just so amazed that my hair didn't sit like this on my scalp and it would actually stay like that straight. So that was like an amazing period for me at one point. So, you know, I had my relaxed hair. I kept relaxing from, I would say, junior high, high school, of course. And I also relaxed to college. But ever since I found YouTube and I was looking at relaxed videos and... I would look at my hair and I would attempt to go on my hair journey and I think I started my hair journey in like April of 2009 I would say and I found the site Hairlista uh, what is it www.hairlista.com I'm on there it's on my YouTube channel so I would look at that and I would do the challenges and I would follow all the things that they said and then I would go on YouTube and subscribe to so many people and do the same thing they do deep conditioning every single week I wouldn't use I would never ever use heat ever I would trim my ends like I was supposed to I would wrap my hair if I wanted it curly I would pin curl it so like I followed everything and like don't get me wrong my growth was like it was awesome like I never ever grew my hair out as long as I did when like in my hair videos if you want to go see that like I never grew out that long but the main thing that I did not get was the full thickness of like, you know, like when you look at someone's hair down the back, it's like straight. My hair would always be like this. That's how my ends would look. And like, 
I felt like chopping it off. Not chopping off the whole thing, but, you know, cutting a good amount so that everything was straight. It would make it better. And I kind of realized that my right side grows really faster than my left side. So, like, when you look at my hair, it would be, like, that. Well, maybe not that much, but, like, like that, basically. So, like... I could never understand because I wore protective styles. I stayed away from heat. I trimmed regularly like I was supposed to. I did my deep conditioning, everything. And like my hair always turned out the same every time. When I would cut it and I would go back, it would just be the same thing, uneven ends. So like I would reach bra strap length and then I would cut it off and then I would go right back to like in between between like uh the shoulders and bra strap and then i would get there to that point again and then i would cut it off again and it just got to the point where i was like this is not for me <laughs> so i came to the decision that i was gonna stop trimming my hair and just accept the fact that that's just how my hair grew but when it came time to wear my hair out my friends would always say you know like you never wear your hair out and your hair is long. And I'm like, well, I don't really feel confident wearing. Because, like, I would go to the salon and I absolutely hated going to the salon. Because every time I went and a lady would have to, you know, she would finish giving me my relaxer and my treatment and all that. She would always ask me. You need to, well, she wouldn't even ask me. She would tell me, you need a trim. And then I'm just like, I know I need you. <laughs> And, like, I was just so embarrassed because my hair would just, like, like my ends would be see Like, it would be long, don't get me wrong, but my ends would be so see-through and just, like, uh, it was just disgusting. So, like, I just, I hated going to the salon. And my mom, she would tell me, like, you know, like, go to the salon and see how it is. But the thing what I noticed when I used to attend the salon, like, consistently, the stylists there are, like, so such a happy, like, don't get me wrong, your hair, my hair would be really full and luscious and all that, but it would stay at the same length the whole time. Because every time I got progress, they would chop it right off. So I stopped going to the salon and it was at one point where I only went for my relaxers and it was the same thing. Like whoever did my hair, it would always stay that same uneven length. So like I just came to the point where I was just like, I don't know what to do. This is not working out for me and I don't think relaxers are they're not for me so I started doing a lot of research on YouTube and I noticed that the videos I was subscribing to like they were more they were starting to become more natural as opposed to relaxed because I was just so intrigued by the results that so many people got from when they left relaxers and then they transitioned to natural it was like amazing to me and I just like I always wanted to do it but I just didn't have the courage. I was like, I, I don't think I could big chop. I never thought I could do that. And like the transition period where like, I would look at some girls that transitioned for like two years. And I'm like, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> Cause every time when I would attempt to stretch my relaxer for like 10 weeks, like my new growth, we did not get along. We sure did not. So like, I didn't know what to do. And it came to the point where I said, okay, I'm going to transition for long term. I'm going to do this. I'm going to bust this out. And by the time I'm ready to big job, I should have like a good amount of hair. And I should be happy with one. So you already know that didn't happen <laughs> based on what my hair looks like now. So I transitioned for, I would say, my last relaxer was April 28th, 2011. And after that day, I decided I was going to go natural. So I transitioned from then up until August. So April, May, June, July, four months. And that was it. I could not, I couldn't do it after four months. And like every time I would get in the shower, I would wash my hair and I would like, you know, feel all my little curls and how coily they were. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, I want my curls now. I cannot wait. I want them now. So I remember the time I had came out the shower and I went to mom. I was like, mom, I'm ready to do this. Help me. You know, I get the front, you get the back. And of course she was hysterical. She didn't like, she did not. <laughs> she did not like that idea at all. But 
it was my hair and it was my decision and I just went in the bathroom and got the scissors and I just started chopping away and when I came out most of it was gone and I asked her well it's already started gotta help me finish so I sort of get you know the rest of the little straggly ends that I couldn't get in when I did it I was just like of course I was like shocked because I never seen myself like that but I was in love with my hair <laughs> like I could not wait to play with it I couldn't wait to see how many you know different textures and stuff I had and play with gel and do different little styles and all the headbands I was gonna buy and the natural products I was gonna try I was just like so excited and I still am excited and I will say like that is the best decision that I have ever made in my life and I am absolutely loving it like to do my hair in the morning or to go out it cuts my get ready time in half because when I was relaxed oh my goodness if my hair wasn't freshly relaxed and my edges were like straight I could not figure out what to do with my hair at all and then I would just decide to just throw it up in a bun like buns were my best friend because I did not like my hair out I just didn't like the way it looked like the ends and like yeah <laughs> I just didn't so like if anybody saw me my hair was either in like you know bantu knots or pin curls or curly that's it like I would never ever wear my hair straight because I hated it and if I did bun and that's it so like now that my hair is short and I got my curls like I'll either gel it up, I'll wear a hat, hat to like my best friends now, or I'll just walk, just rock my fro out. Like, it is so easy. It, it's not a lot of maintenance. You get in the shower, get out as you please. You don't have to worry about putting chemicals on your head, being scared to scratch your scalp after a certain time. Like, none of that. And I must say, like, I am so happy about this decision. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds for it because like I feel my curls sometimes and I like extend it and I'm like where did that come from like it was never that you know the growth is like crazy so like I'm super excited and I cannot wait to make update videos and see progress fits and all that but I would say I absolutely love being natural and I absolutely love my teeny weeny afro yes I love it <laughs> So, if you're thinking about it, I say don't hesitate. Like, if you know you have the confidence to do it and you think, you know, you thought about it for a long time and it's just something that's been on your mind and you feel like you're ready to part with those relaxed ends, go for it because it's amazing. And once you, you know, you really get into it and you get to find out your texture and all the different things you could do with it, it is so, like, I don't know, it's like you're getting to know yourself again in like a weird little crazy way but it's really fun and it's definitely worth it so if you're ready to do it i say do it and the best of luck to you <laughs>